Hi everyone, I'm Maggie Shipstead and my book is Great Circle. I'm really excited to be at Wordplay and a book I read recently that I absolutely loved was The Five Wounds by Kirsten Valdez Quaid. And it's an amazing family story, family drama, and it's full of wry humor. It really made me laugh. Hi, Wordplay. I'm Hua Wen, and I'm excited to share my book, Thousand Times You Lose Your Treasure with You. A book that I'm currently reading uh, is one that's coming out um, this year called Guard the Mysteries by Salish writer Cedar Saigo from Wave Books. Um, it's, a, it's a story of coming of age in the told in essay form, but it's also about friendships, poetics, and lineage uh, around being a creative person. Hi, my name is Meg Medina, and my book is She Persisted, Sonia Sotomayor. I'm excited about the Wordplay Book Festival because this is where we meet our most passionate readers, the people who read late into the night just like we do. One of the books that I've been reading lately that I've really loved is called Maybe, Maybe Marisol Rainey by Erin Entrada Kelly. It's everything. It's silent movies. It's a quirky character. It's the heart of kids. It's just beautiful. Uh, my name is Dr. Sayantani Dasgupta, and I'm the author of She Persisted, Virginia Apgar. And I'm excited to be here at the Wordplay Festival because I miss connecting with readers. I miss celebrating books. I miss being in community. And even if we're not together in person, I know that today through the virtual connection of wordplay, we can still do that thing that readers and writers love to do, which is celebrate stories. And some of the stories that I've been enjoying lately are the rest of the She Persisted series. Um, check them all out. Stories about Sonia Sotomayor, stories about Nellie Bly, um, and many, many other wonderful women from history who persisted and persisted and persisted. Hi, Wordplay. I'm Michelle Newton, and I'm excited to share my book, She Persisted, Nellie Bly, with you. Uh, Wordplay and other book festivals are important to me because I love connecting with readers and other authors. It's a chance to see friends and make new ones, and I get to hear other authors talk about their books, which is always exciting. Um, a book I've loved reading this year is Fart Quest by Aaron Reynolds. Uh, it's a Dungeons and Dragons style adventure with themes of friendship and believing in yourself. And it's also super funny. Um, and I actually play Dungeons and Dragons with Aaron. He's our group's dungeon master. Um, and I just love the idea that this book, in addition to just being a great read, might get kids interested uh, about playing Dungeons and Dragons uh, and those types of <clears throat> role-playing games themselves if they're not already.